Welcome back to our series on the procurement process. In our previous videos, we went through creating a purchase requisition and referencing the purchase requisition to create a purchase order for a stock item. In today's lesson, we will go through the processing of goods receipts, which is the next stage after the supplier delivers the items requested in our purchase order. As a recap, we made a, the distinction between raising a request for a stock item and a non-stock item. Stock items are procured and stored for use at a later date, whilst non-stock items are expensed directly to the requesting department at the goods receipt stage. Moving to our transaction, we select our purchase order. You can see that information from our purchase order has been adopted into our goods receipt document. Again, there's the flexibility of adjusting information like the quantity delivered, if the supplier perhaps delivered more or less than what was requested in our appeal. You can also add on additional information you want noted in the short text field. And if the full items requested was what was delivered, you can also set the delivery complete indicator. I can simply save my documents and the documents and the system generates a document number for my posting. In the case of a stock item, the quantity and value of my material stock will increase. For a non-stock item, the value of items received will be expensed to the requesting department. This ends today's lesson. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for our next lesson. Thank you.